Yo, what is up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Today I just want to do a very quick, quick video on about five kind of budget tech wear accessories that I own and use all the time. So, and I'm using the term like tech wear to describe these things very, very loosely uh, because individually these things aren't all that like performance oriented or anything. It's not like I bought this stuff from like acronym or Arcteryx or anything. But I think these items work really well with a tech wear wardrobe and within tech wear outfits. And I think a lot of them serve a nice functional purpose as well. So this list, it's um, filtered through, again, my personal taste and my personal experience with the item. Um, so I, most, all these things I've had for a long time, they've held up great. Um, so going into the first item, which is in, again, no particular order, definitely probably my most used item out of this list. And it's this polymer carabiner from Amazon. I got more than two years ago and still holding up great, even though I think it was like anywhere from like six to eight bucks. But I use this every day to attach my keys to. So a lot of times I will go ahead and clip it on my belt loop or if I'm wearing a bag or something. Um, I just dropped it. Um, a lot of times if I'm wearing a bag, like, such as like a nice messenger bag, you can attach it to the mole straps itself. Or if you have like an attachment or anything on here, you can kind of loop it on there. A lot of times when I wear my uh, backpacks, I like to clip it up here on the strap. So I don't know, it's kind of comforting to know that I always have my keys right there. Um, and it's just really easy to take it off and use it. Um, so pretty functional little thing. Um, get tons of use out of it. There's loads of different carabiners you can get. I like the look of this polymer one and it's held up really well. But sometimes I do worry about it like coming like unclipped from something and I drop my keys somewhere. It's never happened before. Um, but they do have like some more secure carabiners such as like locking ones. So I'll go ahead and link some of these down below in the description below. But uh, yeah, it's my first first item. Don't know how long I can talk about this little thing, but anyways. Moving on to the second item, and this is probably a contender for my most used item, but it is a kind of knockoff Cobra belt that I got from Amazon. Again, I'm pretty sure this was anywhere from like eight to $12. I bought it more than two years ago, and it has held up absolutely great. You can actually kind of see See if it like kind of focuses on this. Um, you can actually kind of see just like how much I wear. The paint has kind of rubbed off on all the edges and everything. Um, it is a, it's not like the Cobra buckle brand. It is just some like knockoff, but it's held up really well. Um, and it works absolutely phenomenally as a belt. The nylon strap that they use is very, very thick and very strong as well. And also on the end, it's never frayed or anything. Um, so that's held up great. So for honestly, for eight bucks, I really don't think you can beat this. So if you don't want to buy one of these belts, it's really easy to make a tactical belt. I made this one a while ago with a Fidlock and I use some seat belt material because I like how thin and strong it is. Um, but yeah, I know I made this one more than a year ago. So I'll use this one as well. Um, and it's, you know, really cool to do. So I might make a tutorial video on how to make like a tactical you know tech wear belt or whatever uh but yeah that's the uh one of my most worn accessories uh definitely almost every day i will wear a belt uh like either this one or that eight dollar amazon one so anyways next item for the third item this comes in a variety of different price ranges but i think boonie hats are a really nice accessory towards a technical minded outfit um, I like to wear these anytime I go outside to go hiking or if I'm spending a lot of time in the sun, whether you know, you're kayaking um, or just even just chilling on the beach. Um, these are really useful just because it blocks the sun from your neck, ears, and face. So uh, this one here, this black one I got from Amazon, I think it was like anywhere from 15 to like 18 bucks. Um, and it's made from like a ripstop material, kind of like a BDU cargo or something. Uh, it doesn't have that many technical features in it, but uh, it works well and I kind of like the look of it. Um, and I misplaced it for the better part of a year. So I picked up this uh, one from Tilly and this one has a lifetime warranty, uh, much higher quality, made in Canada. 
Um, you know, it's got the snaps on the sides, they look like a cowboy or, you know, Earlson Hugh. Um, DWR coating on it, got a nice little hidden pocket in the top of the hat right there. Got a nice chin strap here so you can um, tighten one down and it secures it to your chin just in case, you know, it's windy or something. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I can't talk too much about this, but good quality. Really like the wash of this kind of uh, gray, but then of course the uh, black one's really nice as well. This summer I did go to Moab again, and it was like more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit um, in the desert. So I was wearing this every single day to keep the sun off of me. Um, and it works great, you know, I uh, weren't hiking, everything. So super cool. Uh, this one is more expensive. This one comes in, I think, around from like 70 to like $100, which is kind of a lot for this hat. But again, lifetime warranty, extremely well made, nice features in it. This one, 15 to 20 bucks, um, not that many, you know, features in it. So you just got to weigh your options, but uh, yeah. All right, for the fourth item, I just have these Adidas Climb a Warm gloves, and there you go, got them undone. Um, these aren't waterproof at all, but they do have some nice technical features in it. Um, they do have on the right hand some of these uh, finger tabs that you can use like your touchscreen phone. Um, nice clip to keep them secure together and this kind of inside line to keep any snow out or anything. They're actually really warm for how thin they are um, and also for how inexpensive they are. I think these are anywhere from like 35 to 45 bucks. I did get these for Christmas several years ago but once you start wearing gloves like if you're out and about and it's kind of cold out they're really nice actually and um stylistically i think they can make an outfit look a lot cleaner so yeah um, i'll go ahead and try and link some ideas climb warm gloves down below but um i'm not sure if they have these exact models anymore just because these are you know several years old but uh you know hey they still work great so um don't see the point in getting any new gloves so yeah. All right, for the last item, I am kind of pushing this a little bit, but um, I think beanies are a nice way to change up an outfit, or if you have a bad hairy day like I do almost every day, um, it's nice to hide your mop on your head. So um, this one I got from Vans from like 2012, um, so it works great. This one's from Uniqlo, it's a cashmere one, um, good quality. It's a little bit looser though, um, but or you could get like the new acronym one that's um, I think 750 euros, which is a lot. You know, I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it's good quality, okay? I'm not dogging on the quality, but come on, that much for a beanie, bro? Like, this ain't, this, that, that ain't it, Chief, bro. Uh, but yeah, so I'll just go ahead and link some nice beanies down below. Um, if you guys, I mean, you guys probably have already have beanies, but uh, yeah. Let me let me let me hide my not so good hair today. Oh, there we go. So see see it looks so much better when I I, I gotta get a haircut. I'm gonna go ahead and link everything down below. Um, and I do use affiliate links, so if you do choose to purchase anything, I do get a teeny commission. Doesn't add anything to the price or anything, but again, just want to be open with you guys about that. So. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I will see you in one pretty soon, so see ya. And got some, got some cool videos in the works, ordering an acronym jacket. So, it kind of hurts my soul that I spent that much on a jacket, but I mean, come on. I can drown in the drip now. Uh, also, some Onf and Levy pants are coming in. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, yeah, see ya. Have a good one, guys.